Hey friends, it's Monday, week three of 12 Months to Clean Living. This is Clean Living Simplified, and we have been working, this is our seventh month, to progressively get to living cleaner lives in our homes by making better choices with the products that we use. And this month's... Um, Theme is about working out your exercise that you do, um, or if it's just the soreness from your work that you do, um, and the products that Young Living can provide to help you um, keep your body moving and help it to move efficiently, and what to use when you're feeling a little sore. That's what we're going to cover today. Today we're going to talk about Cool Azul pain relief cream. So I want to explain to you that there is a blend of oils called Cool Azul. You can add those to any carrier oil of your choice or just rub those that blend of oils on you neat and it will also help. But what has happened, Young Living put it together in an over-the-counter product that is called Cool Azul Pain Relief Cream. Now this pain relief cream is one that we keep as a staple in our home. Um, with my son who wrestled all the way through middle school and high school, it was a staple. We had to have it with us because he was always sore, pulling a muscle, straining something, that kind of thing because of wrestling. Also my youngest, um, has done gymnastics um, since he was five and we've used Cool Azul for him plus for me after I work out and I'm sore um, at my boot camp facility and then also for my husband when he comes in and has done something extra strenuous that day up and down the ladder for his work or whatever it might be. He's also had some issues with some shoulder pain, just ongoing chronic shoulder pain that he knows he needs to literally have surgery to get it fixed, but when it's flaring up and it's hurting really bad, the Cool Azul Pain Cream will give him some temporary relief uh, for that shoulder. So the P Cool Azul Pain Cream is a pre-packaged cream using the Cool Azul um, essential oil blend that includes wintergreen, peppermint, sage, copaiba, oregano, melaleuca, lavender, blue cypress, elemi, vetiver, caraway, dorado azul, and chamomile. Now the wintergreen in it works as an analgesic and the peppermint in it works as a menthol. Um, so if you think about the things that you could go into one of your corner drugstores and buy that you would put on your body after you worked out hard and you were sore, um, this is um, compatible with it, but better because it doesn't have any of the toxic chemicals that those products might have in them. So it's a clean product using essential oil blend and using the um, methyl, salicy methyl salicylate with, and the natural menthol um, to relieve the pain and it offers a unique topical analgesic infused with the Young Living 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oils that are all plant-based ingredients and is very effective for temporary pain relief. So it, the next time you have run out to the gym and you come back and you're sore, put it on there. But here's another thought that Dr. Ollie recommends in his book is you could also use it prior to your workout so that when your body starts getting heated up, that menthol effect and the cooling effect goes ahead and kicks in because it's already on that sore muscle or that muscle that might be strained. And the analgesic effect will kick in and help with the pain during your workout. So if you've worked out one day, you feel really sore the next, but you want to get back at it, use your um, Cool Azul Pain Cream before you work out. Come home, get your shower, do your thing, and after you get out of the shower, apply it again to help you after your workout. 
I hope this helps you guys. I know that we couldn't live without it at our home. And if there was um, ever a time where we had to cut back, we would have to cut something else back before we cut back um, on the Coolazool paint cream. We keep um, a container of it. I wish I had one here with me, but we keep a container of it um, in our home, right there in our kitchen, readily available to grab at any point in time when one of us needs it. And I wanted to say this too, um, for those of you who have children that are still in your home, whether they be teenagers or middle school or elementary kids. When your kids are sore and they're like, Mom, my shoulder hurts, my back hurts, will you rub this on me? Um, I always took that as an opportunity to get my hands on my children and um, especially when they're teenagers and they don't let their mamas touch them very often anymore. Boys don't anyway. That's what I have. Um, I always use this as an opportunity with Gabe to um, rub down his back for him or whatever was sore and to pray over him because our teenagers, mine just turned 18. He's going to college um, in just a few weeks and the time that I was able to do that for him and rub him down, get my hands on him and pray for him is very special, precious time. So at first when he would ask me to rub him down, I would like roll my eyes and be like, oh, but then a friend of mine, Susan Harper, shared with me that her mom always said when her boys were um, getting rubbed downs from football, it's the perfect opportunity to get your hands back on your children who don't normally want you to touch them. Pray over them and give them a soothing massage just to let them, and, and just that tender touch of a mama, letting them know that you still love them and you care about them and you'll always be here for them. So maybe I'm a little tender hearted this morning over that, but I just wanted to share that with some of you moms out there. Y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. See you in a couple of weeks.